This is Kevin Mayo, your American co correspondent for The Real Ale Craft Beer. And today we're drinking Maine Beer Company's Another One IPA. Maine Brewing Company's out of Freeport, Maine. They've been around since 2009. And they literally started with a one barrel system. So a one barrel brew house is a lot of hard work to try to get out enough that you, stuff that you can actually sell. And they perfected one beer, their Peeper Ale. And then they started selling it basically door to door. They've grown through since then. I've drank a couple of the beers. I've liked what I've tried. And everybody else I know that's drank it really enjoys what they've tried. This is a version of their Weezer Black IPA. Same malt profile. I mean, same hot profile, different malt profile. So, just go ahead. When we expanded our brewery, the stress of something was something to say the least. I ran out of idea, uh, creative juices for a minute so I decided just to have another for inspiration. So they just kind of copied what they had. It is bottled conditioned so we do have yeast in the bottom of it. Let's go ahead and give it a crack and see what we got. Go ahead and give it a pour here. Like I said, everybody I've noticed really tried these, really enjoyed them so it's got a pretty good reputation. So, it's actually just a solid dark yellow, got some bubbles on the side of the glass, fair amount of carbonation, just the slightest haze in it. I wouldn't, I mean, in reason, it's reasonably clear, but just the slightest haze. I'm not sure what they're using for malts, but I'm thinking it must be using some of the, obviously some of the lighter malts. Let's do the aroma. And it's definitely a big, resinous, piney, grassy aroma. And then maybe just underneath, we got a hint of like a tangerine. Just a wonderful wonderful smelling beer. Oh, and the date's right on the bottle too, and they make a big point out of that if you don't drink fresh beer for IPAs, you're going to lose a lot of the flavor. So this was bottled on 8-19, August 19th. Today is the last day of August, the 31st, so this beer is not even two weeks old at this point. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Yeah, wonderful beer. These guys know what they're doing. Um, doesn't have that really floral, fruity IPA. This is more of a very resinous, um, piney IPA. But really, really nice job. You get a, just the slightest hint of toasted cracker in the front. Just a hint of them all. And then you get some nice bittering at the back end of it. I'm not really sure what the IBUs are on it. I don't think it tells us. Of course, there's nothing more exciting than watching me read. 7.6% alcohol. No, 7.0% alcohol by volume. So you get a hint of bread up front, or a cracker up front. You get a nice bitter after finish. And then in the middle, you get your tongue gets coated with that resin, that pine. And it is, it's like a solid pine flavor. And it finishes dry, so it's drying at the finish. Very, uh, really, really drinkable. So. What we have here is basically a resiny IPA. Solid, great job these guys did. A little bit of malt, bready up front. It's got some nice bittering at the end. It's not overwhelming, so it's reasonably balanced. And just a big burst of pine. Maybe you can say a little grass in the middle. 
Um, solid job. Good job, Maine Beer Company. We are going to give you a solid 92 out of 100. Till next time, keep drinking.